We're back to another episode of Let's Play Shining Force CD. I'm your host, Nick Legato. Wanted to make a whole episode for the finale here, so... Yes, he has. How is he gonna masturbate now? <laughs> Yes, you will. You will submit. <coughs> That's right, bitches. You owe me big time. Where's Amigo? Gypped. With the alliance of Guardiana and Cypress, they succeeded in waking Queen Anri. Yay! With her waking, peace was once again restored to Guardiana and Cyprus. Yay! But as long as the right arm of the prince remains as stone, no one can escape from the shadow of the evil Eon Empire. What a little crap. It's funny how Guy has a weird color, his armor is a different color. The another story of Shining Force. I love translation teams. They just are so mediocre. So let's review, shall we? So pretty much the story is a young man comes forward, fights, you know, uh, until a point where he finds out that he's the prince of the enemy, his kingdom, and the enemy's kingdom is being controlled by an evil dude, who is actually being controlled by another evil god, and thus we go and we slay the evil god and return him to the throne, but. Now, our hero Nick is cursed with an arm of stone. <clears throat> or, um, Henri has been awakened from her slumber, thanks to defeating Wuldal, and all of that good stuff. And that's really the story, all in a nutshell. You know, after the first Shining Force, Henri became queen, and so on and so forth. <clears throat> and this was the result. So you can see that these are actually canon. The Shining Force, all the Shining games in general, are actually canon. Um... So the game is a quality. This was a great remake. If you, you know, a lot of people make remakes very badly, but they did a they did a proper remake. They didn't they didn't alter the story. They didn't <coughs> try and change too much to make it. What they did do was they gave the game a full boost over boost in graphics. They did they made it just as good quality as any Shining Force game. Specifically, it's very similar to Shining Force 2 in, in graphics quality. Um, for the most part. So. Shining Force CD is a good game. Um, if you own a Sega CD, like I do, um, and oh, I own this game, so that's why I do Let's Plays of games that I actually own, um, this is a good game. It, it really is. Um, but a lot of us did not want to spend 450 bucks for a Sega CD, and I got mine, actually, on accident. I actually asked for a Sega, and when it came, when it came in the mail, it was actually a Sega CD. So it was neat that they screwed up like that, and I never sent it back. <laughs> so that's how I got my Sega CD, and we'll do maybe, you know... There's a still, we still got another couple of stories left to go. We're not done yet. But this is book one. We finished book one. <clears throat> as far as Shining Force games go, though, I've never been happy with any of the guidance. Um, Story-wise, they're nice. I know that they're canon, so they help. But I don't like the idea that I can't explore. All it is is battle after battle after battle, just like Shining Force 1 and 2, but there's no exploration. You don't get to explore towns, you don't get to talk to NPCs, you don't get to kind of really get a feel for the world. You're just kind of force-fed through it. So, you know, that's kind of a big deal. Now, as a tactical RPG game, it's just as good as any of the other Shining Force games. And I like how one of the things that they did was they made Shining Force CD more of a game where uh, <clears throat> where they made use of characters you normally didn't like. Like, the Birdmen were actually pretty good in this game. In other Shining Force games, I tend not to use Birdmen because I hate them. And Monks. You got lots of Monks. You got two Monks in this one early on and not a strong healer until later in the game. So, for the most part, I mean, Shining Force CD is... It's got its pros and its cons. It's probably not the stronger of the Shining Force se series... Of games, Shining Force 2 being my personal favorite. Shining Force 3 and all of the games around Shining Force 3 are very good too. Shining Force 1 is maybe the weakest, but it's the f foundation of the real story. 
next to Shining in the Darkness, but Shining in the Darkness was a kind of a weak story anyway. Um, but for the most part, this is a great remake. Um, I would actually recommend that you play this remake over the Game Gear version, just because, you know, you know, for me, Game Gear graphics were great when I was a kid, a little kid, you know, in elementary school playing on a Game Gear. But to play on a Game Gear now, or to even tolerate Game Gear graphics would be kind of hard. So, but my recommendation is to play this remake of the game. I give this game 7, or nah, I give it 6 out of 10 birds. Middle fingers, one might say. The reason why I give it such an awkward score, low score, is because there are games that are actually better than this game. There are games that are better than this game. And <clears throat> though it is a good game, in my opinion, it's not the strongest game out, out on the market. And it really wasn't even when they brought this version of it along. I feel there's a lot of loose ends to the story. There are a lot of awkward things in the story. It all gets explained. But there are a lot of strange, you know, ifs, ands, or buts in the storyline. So for the most part, it's a pretty good game. So next time, hopefully we'll start looking at the book two of Shiny Force CD. I'm going to spend a lot of time putting these videos together and uploading them. Uh, all the work, all the joy. So give good reviews. Leave a good review. Let me know what you thought of my playthrough. Other than the little bits of grinding I did. I know I did a little bit of it, so sue me. Blow it out your ass. Um, but let me know what you think of the game game I did, and uh, you know we'll see you again on another episode of Let's Play. Some of the games I have lined up is obviously Shiny Force CD Book Two, as well as if there are any more books that I don't know about on the Sega CD version. I think there are more though. Um, I'll do those. Um, <coughs> <coughs> then I probably I'm looking at Grandia Final Fantasy VII. I'm also looking at Dead Space. I'm looking at Portal 2, was a thought. Uh, let's play Portal 2. Might be. Sounds like a lot of fun. So we'll see which ones we do, and I'll figure it out from there. So we'll see you again on another <coughs> episode, of, on another edition of Let's Play. I'm your host, Nick Legato. Have a good one. <laughs>